Hello children. In my previous lectures, we have studied about the effect of heat on matter. Different types of changes we have seen. The effect of heat on solids, liquids and gases. We have seen that. Now, we will study about the change of state of matter with the effect of heat on them. Now, we have three different states. Solids, liquids and gases. How do they change among themselves due to the effect of heat? Like the solid is changing into liquid, liquid is changing into gas, gas is changing into solid. So, how do they change and what do we call that process that we will be learning in this lesson? So, we have the best example here of water. So, as you can see in this graph, the solid state of water is there, that is ice below 0 degree Celsius. Now, when you start increasing the temperature, the solid ice changes to liquid water. On further heating, the liquid water changes into gas. So, the temperature is changing, the temperature is increasing and the state of water is changing from solid to liquid, then liquid to gas. All matter can move from one state to another. This is known as interconversion of the states of matter. Matter can change from one state to another when specific physical conditions change. That is, temperature and pressure of the substance changes. Now, here you have this interconversion of state of matter. <clears throat> The solids change into liquid, the liquids change into gas, gas changes into solid. On heating, when the solid changes to liquid, we call it as fusion, fusion or melting. On heating, when liquid changes into gas, we call it as vaporization. On heating, when solid changes into gas, we call it as sublimation. So, we will study in detail about these changes in the next slide here. Now, melting or fusion is a physical process that results in the phase transition of a substance from a solid to a liquid. This occurs when the internal energy of the solid increases, typically by the application of heat or pressure, which increases the substance temperature to the melting point. So, what is melting point? Melting point is the temperature at which the solid changes into a liquid. Now, what is vaporization? <clears throat> the vaporization of an element or compound is a phase transition from the liquid phase to the vapor state, that is the gaseous state. There are two types of vaporization, evaporation and boiling. Evaporation and boiling are not same. Evaporation is a surface phenomenon, whereas boiling is a bulk phenomenon. See, here it is. The liquid is boiling. The water is boiling. Now, we have two figures here. In evaporation, the it is only at the surface of the liquid. The evaporation is taking place only at the surface. But in boiling, it is taking place in the bulk of the liquid. Here also, you can see water evaporating from the fields and from the water body. Evaporation is a type of vaporization that occurs on the surface of a liquid as it change, changes into its gaseous state or gaseous phase. Now, from the ocean also, the water absorbs the sun's heat and evaporates into its vapors. Now, what are the differences between evaporation and boiling? Evaporation takes place at all temperatures. It can take place at very low temperature also. But boiling occurs only at a particular temperature which we call as boiling point of the liquid. Evaporation takes place from the surface only. But in boiling, the entire liquid boils. Evaporation can occur using the internal energy of the system also. But boiling requires an external force 
or source of heat. Now, evaporation produces cooling, whereas boiling does not cause any cooling. Now, evaporation is a very slow process, but boiling is a rapid, it's a fast process. A pure substance has properties that are constant throughout the whole sample. This means that a pure substance will have a constant appearance, color, density, melting point and boiling point throughout the sample. So this means that every pure substance has a fixed melting point, fixed boiling point. And pure substances are elements and compounds. They have their fixed boiling and melting point, freezing point, condensation point. Now, the temperature at which ice melts, that is the solid state of water, when ice melts, it is called melting point. The melting point is the temperature at which a solid turns into a liquid. The melting point at which ice, a solid, turns into water, which is a liquid, is 0 degree Celsius or 32 degree Fahrenheit. At lower pressure or higher altitudes, the boiling point is lower. At sea level, pure water boils at 212 degree Fahrenheit, that is 100 degree Celsius. This is the boiling point of water. See this now. What is the effect of pressure and impurities on the boiling point of the liquid? So, we will study here that the boiling point of a liquid is affected by the pressure and impurities that are present. So, if there is high pressure, the boiling point will be higher. If the atmospheric pressure is low, the boiling point will be low. Usually, the boiling point of liquid increases with the increase in pressure and lowers down with the decrease in pressure. So, in a pressure cooker also, we see that the food gets cooked faster. What is the reason? The reason is pressure is high, the water is boiling at a higher temperature, the food gets higher temperature. So, at higher altitudes, we see that the pressure is low. So, boiling point also reduces. Now, what is the effect of impurities? If you add salt to water, then the boiling point will increase and the freezing point will be lower. Now, what is condensation? It is the change of water from its gaseous form, that is water vapor, into liquid water. Condensation generally occurs in the atmosphere when warm air rises, cools and loses its capacity to hold water vapor. As a result, excess water vapor condenses to form cloud droplets. So, during winters, we see these dew drops or water condensed on the cold windscreen and all. We experience this nowadays. Now, what is the boiling point and the condensation point of water? Generally, boiling point is same as condensation point for water. Boiling point is 100 degrees Celsius. So, condensation point is also 212 degree Fahrenheit or 100 degrees Celsius. It is same. See here. Under normal conditions, the boiling point of water is 100 degrees Celsius and the condensation point of steam, that is water vapor, is also 100 degrees Celsius. That, thus, the boiling point of a liquid and the condensation point of its vapor have the same numerical value, which is 100 degrees Celsius. On heating, the water is changing into steam. On cooling, the steam is changing into water. But the numerical value or the temperature at which this transition takes place is same, that is 100 degrees Celsius. Now, what is freezing? It is a phase transition where a liquid turns into a solid when its temperature is lowered below its freezing point. In accordance with the internationally established definition, freezing means the solidification phase. 
change of a liquid or the liquid content of a substance usually due to cooling. So, what is the freezing point? Freezing point is the temperature at which the liquid just changes into its solid state. This is the freezing of water. You can see the ice cubes. Now, what is sublimation? Now, sublimation is the change of state from solid to gas. Here, there is no liquid state. The solid is not melting into the liquid and then changing into gas. Here, the solid directly changes into its gaseous state. Sublimation is a type of phase transition or a change in a state of matter, just like melting, freezing and evaporation. Through sublimation, a substance changes from a solid to a gas without ever passing through a liquid phase. Dry ice, that is solid carbon dioxide, provides a common example of sublimation. We have a few more examples of sublimates, that is iodine, solid carbon dioxide, known as dry ice, ammonium chloride, camphor, anthracene, benzoic acid, naphthalene balls, etc. Now think and answer. A sample of water boils at 102 degrees Celsius. Is it a pure substance? Is this pure water? Think and answer. Thank you children.